When you start building a dexter, you typically start with the base. The first step of building the base is epoxying the aluminum strakes into the feet. Start by putting epoxy into the hole on the foot for the strake. Be sure to get it on every surface inside the hole. Also put some on the face of the strake that will go into the hole. Then insert the strake into the hole. A mallet may help seat the strake fully inside the foot. Once the strake is seated, take a paper towel and wipe the seepage from the edges. You want to try and push some of the epoxy back into the gap between the hole and the strake for extra reinforcement. Let them dry with the strake sticking up vertically. Repeat this process for the next 5 feet. While those are drying, we're going to glue the 6 133mm carbon fiber strakes into the base light and the base mount. Each part will get 3 strakes evenly spaced apart. Put some epoxy into one of the strake holes at the top of the base mount and the one immediately below it as well. Then slide a strake in, lightly thrusting in and out to ensure an even spread of epoxy. Wipe it down and try to keep everything as clean as possible as you go, especially the top as a clamp will go there. Repeat this twice, skipping a hole in between each strake. The base light is a little bit different. The strakes are meant to stick out of the top by about a millimeter. This gives the code disc a place to rest when it's mounted. It is important to glue the strakes from the bottom so that the top can be wiped easily. Fill one of the holes from the bottom with some epoxy and then slide a strake in as you did before. Make sure it sticks out and then wipe all the epoxy seepage. Skip a hole between each strake just as before and check the strakes again to make sure they didn't move. When they've been balanced, let it dry on its side so the strakes don't have any forces acting upon them. Once everything is dried, you will glue your legs into the base mount. Start by dry fitting a leg into each of the holes. Then put some epoxy into one of the holes. Push your leg into it and let the epoxy seep out. Take the leg back out and try to put some of the excess epoxy back into the hole. Then slide the strake back in. The same principle should be applied from the feet where the epoxy should be smeared into the cracks of the hole. After that, repeat the process five more times. Then, place the center of the base mount on top of a roll of tape. This will allow it to dry without the surface beneath it affecting the balance of the strakes. While it's resting on the tape, give the feet one last press into the base. Wipe the bottom to ensure there are no drips of epoxy. Let this dry and this completes the base subassembly.